this short gravel pass comes as something of a surprise after the long flat coastal plains between Riversdale and the coastal town resort of Jongensfontein. It's about 23 kilometers due south of Riversdale on a minor gravel road, the P1523. It's of average length at 4.7 kilometers and displays an average altitude variance of 125 meters with the steepest parts near the summit getting as steep as 1 in 7. There are some dangerous corners on this pass with negative banking. It was being rebuilt on the day of filming and many of the dangers have now been re-engineered to make for a much safer traverse. Many of the low coastal ridges along this part of the coastal plateau have a whitish appearance which resembles chalk, so it comes as no surprise to see names like Kalkwerte on the maps. The first 1.6 kilometers of the pass from the northern side consists of a fairly straight section which undulates whilst climbing gently. As one approaches the pass from the farm known as Dominis Pos, a low ridge of hills appears ahead. These are called Wanku Saranta. To the left of the point where the road is heading, a taller ridge is visible, which is 269 meters high and has the unusual name of Arbeterskop. This pass is named after this peak. Most of the vegetation here consists of low coastal shrub and feinbos and a number of small nature reserves can be visited. These include the Blombosch Nature Reserve, the Grotdam Nature Reserve, the Mossel Bankfontein Nature Reserve and the Anne Nature Reserve. At the 1.6 km point, the road bends to the right through 30 degrees and begins climbing quickly at a much steeper gradient of 1 in 10 to reach the summit of 216 meters. Next up is a double apex right hand bend with a fairly steep and unprotected drop off to the left. Here the road builders have widened the road a lot to remove the blind rise and the road has been substantially widened to improve safety and reduce the risk of head on collisions. This short section after the summit is fairly level but this changes abruptly at the 3.6 km point as the gradient gets much steeper at 1 in 7 as a good view of the valley opens up on the left. After another minor right hand bend, the road drops down to the next valley via a wide 90 degree left hand bend. The pass ends at the low point at an intersection where another small gravel road joins in from the left. Continue for another 7 kilometers of easy driving to reach the main tarred road near the coast. Here you can turn left to go to Jongensfontein and Stilbei which is 21 kilometers away or turn right to go to Vermaaklerkate which is 23 kilometers away. Thank you.